Oh, oh. right. Let's get into this. My oh, goodness, this is about to take three or four, or whatever it is. If I don't get it this time, I'm going to spin me right out. This is. Welcome back to the channel everybody and uh, we've got a special guest star today, we've got Jim 2.0 and we've got the star of the show, my 2003 Aprilia, the Ape, she's actually a 2008, which is in 2008, so uh, I think she's an American or Canadian import. Anyway, besides that, we can't ride, so what we're going to do is, we're going to do a uh, helmet setup and plus what helmet we're actually using, everybody, me and uh, Jim 2.0. So uh, let's talk about the helmets then to start off with. We both roll with the Agrius Ranger helmets. I've got the SV, he's got the uh, just the normal Rage. Mine's Rage SV, I should say. SV standing for Sun Visor. So as you see there, I've got a tinted Sun Visor. Sun visor. God, I can't speak my words out. So, um, which is pretty good. So for winter, for instance, I can still have that, that tinted, keep the sun out of my eyes. But it also means I can keep running with a standard clear, uh, clear visor with a pin lock, which means that uh, don't get none of that steaming up because uh, I can't be doing any of that in the winter. When it does get to summer, I normally whack on a dark, dark visor for the uh, for the summer, you know, to keep something. Obviously, you don't use the tinted one on the inside because um, that will be double trouble. Comfort with this helmet, I've had no issues so far. I mean, it's not, it's not a premium helmet these, and. Um, I've had no issues at all, I've, I've ridden for a couple of hours, I've had nothing pinching or getting my hair caught <laughs> in the helmet or any, any of that issue. Um, very, very nice com comfort wise, Qu quite quiet as well. However, I've had this two years now and I've started to notice I'm getting a lot of uh, wind roar. I can, fit, I can hear a lot of wind roar coming through the helmet. I don't know if that's because maybe the sponginess inside is starting to, you know, it's not as solid anymore. It's a bit looser on the on the head. It's probably got something to do with it, that and the fact that um, I haven't washed the inside. It is removable, the inside. You can take the gubbins out and give it a clean. So um, that might have something to do with it. So I have noticed that, and I wear ear defs, which is a, um, yeah, so, and, and I can pick it up. So yeah, that's, this is the, the agree. The only modifications I've done there is obviously I stuck the Mohawk on there and that's Velcroed on. And um, I've put my, obviously got my Jim Diesel logos all over the bleeding helmet. And um, I've got my Star Wars, I'm a bit of a Star Wars geek. I've got my Star Wars Imperial logos. Because I think I'm a TIE fighter pilot. Not. Hey. So, let's talk on to uh, camera setup and what cameras we use. So we use uh, GoPro Hero 3 Blacks. Um, they're quite old now, obviously. And um, pretty good. I mean, settings wise, I have one 1080p, uh, we have uh, 60 frames per second that we use on the cameras. Um, so because we like to, I like to have the extra data, so if you have to do any slow-mo, uh, when it comes to editing, I can, I can slow it down. Um, <clears throat> uh, what else am I talking about? GoPro Hero 3. <laughs> Fucking hell. Angles, what angles do we use? So, on the helmet, I have it set at a medium angle on the settings. On the camera, on my B camera that I'm filming on at the minute, um, which is on the bike, I'll have that on wide angle so it can fit everything in. But um, I, I like to use B, the reason I use, fucking hell, the reason I use medium angle on the, uh, the helmet cam is because when I have it on wide angle it just seems to make everything look so far away it's bad enough on medium so um, that's, that's my reasons for that what else have we done so modify what have I modified on here so I've attached it to my helmet I haven't used any extra glue gorilla glue super glue or anything like that I've just gone with the standard uh, m3 sticky pads that you get with the GoPros and that, that's attached to there I'm obviously using the little safety clip that you can get with them and, and that goes around the, the screw there so if it does, does have a malfunction it will uh, keep the if this does come away it will keep the hell uh, fucking hell can't speak it will keep the uh, camera uh, still attached to the helmet as you can see here also what I've done is 
I've uh, changed the screws out. So initially I went to all little mini screws. Didn't go with the normal GoPro ones because they're massive and mahusive. So I've gone for little ones. And then uh, what I've also done is I've ordered some of these little little screws here that are uh, use Allen bolts. And I, I've gone for those. And that is, I think that is more aesthetically uh, cleaner and a bit tidier. And uh, yeah, it looks a lot better. Housing wise, I've gone back to my clear one, uh, my clear housing. Um, I bought it off of eBay, as you do. It's already got the audio skeleton bit cut in the, in the, in the middle there so that you can uh, attach your audio devices. Plus the back door is a skeleton as well. So, um, I don't know if you can see that, but I've got like a skeleton bit on the back there. Uh, reasons for that is, is because um, I normally, I used to run a battery eliminator, but I'll get onto that in a minute. This clear case that I've got, I used to have a stealth black one like he's got. However, um, what I, it was spinning me out because I couldn't see when it, when it was recording. I couldn't see the Wi-Fi light or the, the red recording light. So what I done was I uh, masterized this one and I painted it black and uh, I left the little little gaps so that the lights can show through. And uh, I know I now know when I'm recording, I can just look in the in the wing mirror and I can see and I go, yeah, nice one. So. Um, talking battery eliminators, uh, you can see it there on the side of my helmet, I use, I've got a bit of Velcro there. Velcro the, the back of the uh, battery pack that attaches on there. Battery eliminator goes into the back of the GoPro. And the only issue with that is it's about, you've got about one and a half meters of wire, which is a bit of a nightmare. So you have to try and work that into the helmet or on the outside of the helmet. It's, it doesn't look that tidy. Um, <clears throat> And that's pretty good. The battery eliminator, uh, in conjunction with the battery pack, will outrun the memory card in my GoPro. So I have a 32 gigabyte memory card in, in both GoPros, and it will outrun that. That will run out before the memory card does. No, wrong. The memory card will run out before the battery pack does. My goodness. Uh, the only other things is, I've uh, my audio, that's the connector I use for the audio on there and that runs through I run that on the inside of the helmet and I have it attached to the inside of the cheek there I used to have it in the front of the helmet however um, I think that was bringing up a lot of wind noise so I've now put it back to where I originally had it and on that point I'm gonna uh, now hand you over to uh, Jim 2.0 and he's gonna talk you through his helmet setup and uh, what he thinks of the, uh, the Gris Rage so uh, over to you, mate. Cheers, thanks, Jim. So, just going to talk through uh, what my helmet. So I've got the Agrius Rage without the internal sun visor. So this is just um, just like your standard crash helmet. As you can see on here, um, I've got a dark tinted visor. I've got my little screen protector on there at the minute. Um, comfort wise, it's exactly the same as the SV. I, I find this really comfy. I've only used it a few times now so far, so it's still fresh, still new, which is good. Noise levels, I can't really uh, complain with the noise levels. Um, not really getting a lot of wind noise, which he's been getting on the SV. And uh, yeah, yeah, quite happy, very, very happy with it so far. Um, obviously, the only modifications I've got on here are got the velcro on the top there to put put his mobile kind if I need it and um, I've got the red imperial signs on that one let's talk about my camera setup then on the front there so uh, or I should say the GoPro setup same again um, no extra um, like glues or anything to attach it however I've got a, um, a, an extra M3 on there for some reason the way that I've mounted it I might mounted it slightly different um, same safety uh, cable there on there, same screws, same Allen key bolts that I've got there and obviously I've gone for the stealth case. Uh, this one you can't run a battery eliminator off of it because it's solid at the back and it's also got the audio uh, cut out on the side there. These are quite expensive if you try and get these off of eBay and quite rare these days, it's quite hard to get hold of nowadays. And um, yeah, this, this is my helmet set up. I'm quite happy with it. It's nice, nice, quiet, small little lid. Pretty Gucci for the price. Back to you, mate. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much. So yeah, that's it. That's our helmet sets up, setups that we have on the uh, when we're vlogging. So on that note, 
I think I'm going to uh, end this video here. So, uh, like I always say, uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel. And what I'll do is I'll also put a, uh, a little link here for one of our videos and another link here for another video. And also a little icon in the centre. And don't forget to hit that centre icon. That way uh, you're subscribed and every time I upload a video or he uploads a video, you'll get notified. And that, my friends, is uh, Jim Diesel. Ow!